so much for coming, doctor and astronaut Yvonne Cagle. Now I remember when I first became intrigued with space as a small girl watching that grainy image of a human walking on the moon. At that moment, my dreams took wings and I too wanted to one day see my footprint on the moon. The first place winner, years of living dangerously. Well, I grew up in, the, in New York, in the Bronx, in Brooklyn, and I had a dream about putting my footsteps, not on the moon. I had a dream about putting my handprints and footprints at the Grauman's Chinese Theater, and I got my dream, so you'll get yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Never won anything before, thank you. We work with a cast of tremendously gifted elderly women who are beautiful and have such amazing stories to tell. My grandmother was one of the most important people in my life. I'm kind of reminded of her every day. I feel so lucky to work on this show. The number one amazing, awesome getting on. We're thrilled to get this award. The, the show means so much to us. First place goes to Life According to Sam. We knew we had to tell the story of this disease that nobody knows anything about. What we didn't know is that we were going to fall so deeply in love with Sam Burns, who was our subject. And we fell in love with him because, not because he was the sick kid, but because he was joyous. He might very well have been the most coolest kid I ever knew. Shooting video. Yes. First place drama award goes to Parenthood. Thank you for watching Parenthood. Thank you for embracing the Hank Rizzolis and the Max Bravermans of the world. I love Max, I love Hank, and it's been my distinct honor to tell their stories. For children's programming to Doc McStuffins. It's just important to remember that one of our jobs is to inspire the next generation of people who want to step on the moon or become doctors. And that's one of the things that Doc has done so successfully. The Drama TV Movie Award to the Normal Heart. It took Larry Kramer 30 years of his life uh, before this film became reality. And th the only thing I can think of is we don't have 30 years. We don't have 30 years to address global warming. We don't have 30 years to address the critical illnesses that face so many millions of people in the world. Thank you all. Thanks for coming. Good night.